Father, we bless you. Teach us your word in the name of Jesus. Uh, this is Joseph, part 22. Uh, and our Bible text will be taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 41, from verse 39 to 45. After Joseph had finished giving the king a wise counsel on how to plan against the day of famine, then the king said, then the king said the following uh, statements to, he made the following statement to Joseph. <clears throat> the first one said, For as much as God had showed thee all these things, there is none so discreet and wise as thou. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thee. See, I have set you over all the Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his rings from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and decorated him in vestures of fine lining and put a gold chain about his neck. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. And they, car and they cried before him, bow the knee, and he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphnath, Zaphnath Penar, and he gave him to he gave him to wife Asenath, the daughter of Potiphar, the priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. You can see that in verse 39 to 45. The Bible says that the gift of a man will make a way for him. This statement is very correct. And if you are still in doubt, then what happened to Joseph should clear your doubt. When you develop yourself in the area of your calling and giftings, by standing with God without distraction, then there is no limit to which the Lord can take you. The king said, Only in the throne will I be greater than you. This shows that automatically, the second highest person in the old land of Egypt is Joseph. His age was not consequential in this matter because God was involved. When God is ready to lift a man, his age won't be a factor because all that will be needed is the solution which the Lord will be bringing through him. Immediately, the king, you know, immediately the king put off his ring from his hand and made him, you know, he, he gave the ring to Joseph and also made him ride on an expensive horse with people hailing his majesty as he rode softly on the horse. To make this more solidified, Pharaoh gave him a wife from the family of a priest whose name was Asenath. This lady called Asenath was the perfect will of God for him because they never had a misunderstanding. And as a matter of fact, this lady made it easy for Joseph to remain faithful to God and to his people. The king officer remembered him at the right time. They brought him out at the right time. He appeared before the king at the he appeared before the king in the right way. He spoke rightly, and the king gave him the right office and the right ceremony that should be done to a royal person was done to him. And the king married for him the right woman. He himself worshipped and served the Lord in the right way. And finally, he lived rightly before God. Amen. Let me come again. The king officer remembered him. That is Joseph now. The king officer, that is the chief butler, remembered Joseph at the right time. They, they, they brought him out of the prison that is the dungeon at the right time. He appeared before the king in the right way. He spoke rightly. The king gave him the right office. The right ceremony that should be done to a royal person was done to him. The king married for him the right woman. 
he himself worshipped and served the Lord in the right way. And finally, he lived rightly before God and man. The story of Joseph was the story of what God can do through a man that is being led by him. It is a revelation of how, of how the presence of the Lord in the life of a man can transform the story of that man completely. It was that same day that Joseph resumed office. Though he came from the dungeon, but never returned to the dungeon. Where you are coming from does not matter. What matters is what God can do through you. I pray for you that the gift of God in your life will not die. And what the gift will lead you and, and that the gift will lead you to where the Lord has planned for you in the name of Jesus. That the gift in you will lead you to where God has proposed for your life in the name of Jesus. Just like Joseph, you will not only meet with the kings. God will make you sit with them and you will rule with them. In the name of Jesus. This is the wisdom of God. Don't sell it.